The recent reports in Israeli media confirming the theft of Palestinian organs by Israeli forces in the 1990s was the main theme of the press conference held by the Palestinian ministers of health and prisoners affairs in the West Bank city of Ramallah. The ministers announced that Israeli military forces have harvested organs from the Palestinian bodies killed by them years ago. Dr. Fathi Abu Mughli, Palestinian Minister of Health, explained how the Israeli forces handed the dead bodies of some Palestinians to their families in closed boxes. They had even set conditions for these deliveries, don't examine the bodies and bury them at night. We are now worried about the lives of our prisoners inside Israeli jails. We want to guarantee that they won't be murdered to harvest their organs. We will gather more information to raise the issue in the International Supreme Court of Justice and the United Nations. Those Israeli criminals must be prosecuted for violating the international conventions, including the Fourth Geneva Conventions. Israel holds the remains of hundreds of Palestinians and Arabs killed in combat in secret cemeteries known as the Cemeteries of Numbers. There are 302 Palestinian dead bodies still held in the cemeteries, in addition to hundreds of missing Arabs' bodies. During the conference, Shahir al-Aruri, the brother of Mashhur al-Aruri, spoke about his family's struggle to get back his brother's body, which has been held in a secret cemetery since 33 years ago. Israel finally came clean on the issue, confirming that its forensic scientists in the 1990s took organs from Palestinian dead bodies. Israel's Channel 2 television showed a documentary over organ theft, saying that Israeli politician and Knesset member RDA Eldad was the main culprit behind the body snatching incident. This is not the first time organ harvesting has grabbed the headlines. In September, a diplomatic crisis strained between Israel and Sweden over a Swedish newspaper reported on organ harvesting by Israeli soldiers. Sadel Khalili, Press TV, Ramallah.